Welcome back to the Christian Meditation Podcast and the Recenter with Christ app. Episode 330. Rejoice always, pray continually. A guided Christian meditation on 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verses 16 through 22. My name is Jared and I'm a chaplain that's worked in several contexts and I make this podcast to help you connect with the true source of peace, which is Jesus Christ, and to feel his spirit and allow it to influence you for good. I do two styles of meditation. This one has more periods of dedication of specific areas, more guidance. If you want something with more periods of open silence, I invite you to check out every other episode. For now, they'll find a place to sit comfortably for the next 20 minutes. As now you set your intention, ponder, what is it that you hope that the Lord will bless you with? Perhaps you desire a little bit more peace in your heart. May God bless us with that peace. As now you sit here putting your intention on worship of God and on his word, I want you to ponder what things do you have to rejoice about in this very moment? Have there been things today that you just observed as beautiful or calming? Are there positive outcomes in your life? A feeling of love and acceptance from God specifically or someone else? Take those things in your heart now and really let them simmer there. Let that feeling of joy and peace resonate as you breathe in and breathe out, allowing the air to come easily into your body as you allow all tension to run out of you. This tension can be helpful to take a break from. The strain and press of life can feel oppressive at times, so I invite you to let it go. Trusting in the Lord, trusting that God will Send peace to your heart and help you to move in the direction you most need to move. So now, as you trust God, the worry, care, and anxiety of the world begin to fade little by little. You feel it wash away. You feel your muscles losing tension. You feel calmness wash over you. As you trust that the Lord will help you do whatever that you need to do, you become more confident that He cares about you and that you're going in the right direction. God has words for you. As we now listen to these scriptures, pay close attention to the ideas, thoughts, and impressions that come over you as you listen to the word of the Lord. We'll be reading from first the NIV. Rejoice always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Do not quench the Spirit. Do not treat prophecies with contempt, but test them all. Hold on to what is good. Reject every kind of evil. I invite you now to ponder on these words. 
specifically on those sections that stuck out in your mind as you listened. And now from the NRSV. Notice the similarities and differences in these translations. And see if there's any sections that speak to you. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit. Do not despise the words of prophets. But test everything. Hold fast to what is good. Abstain from every form of evil. Continue pondering these scriptures now. It's not extremely common in scriptures where it definitively tells us what God's will is for us. This is one of those times and what simple words of wisdom they are. Rejoice always and pray without ceasing. What is it that we are meant to rejoice for? For goodness of God to us in all circumstances. God's will for us is that we rejoice and find gratitude for our many blessings. This is not an antidote for struggle. This is more of a training of our mental and spiritual habits. It takes concentrated effort to develop these habits. When we encounter beauty, no matter how small, we can practice giving things for it. Not as a denial of the difficulties of other parts of our life, but to honor the good that also exists alongside the challenges. And the more we place our focus on the good, the better we will be at spotting it when it shows up. As we build these habits stronger, we will be able to do this easier. When you see a sunset, rejoice. When you feel a gentle breeze on your skin, rejoice. When you feel the love of God for you, despite your many failings and challenges, rejoice the most and give thanks to God. These efforts that we have to find joy and thanksgiving don't cheapen our suffering. They give it context. 
So do not quench the spirit, but let it burn within you. Engage in the challenging work of continuing in the path of Jesus and receiving his saving grace. We can test things to ensure that they are from God and hold fast to what we know is good while rejecting what is evil. If you struggle with any of this, pray to God continually. Ask God for help. The glory and love of God are all around you at all times. Sometimes we just need to develop the spiritual muscles to see it. Continue pondering this scripture and these thoughts. Please join me now in prayer. Holy Father, now we pray, we lift our voices, asking for guidance, asking for help, asking for the Spirit. Help us see the simple beauty in this world that we can rejoice in it. Help us feel of our redemption from sin. Help us feel what amazing blessings these provide in our lives. May we be sensitive to the Holy Spirit urging us and guiding us on. May we be receptive to the things that are true, that were taught from the scriptures, that we may understand your word here. Soften our hearts and help us understand and change and reject all forms of evil in our lives. And this we say in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I invite you to continue in prayer now. Now I invite you to sit in contemplative silence before the Lord, rejoicing in His Spirit, feeling the still, small voice of God's answer upon your heart.
Now in this last section, I want you to do two things. Summarize and visualize. Summarize what insights or things you've learned or felt here today. And then visualize how to apply them in your life going forward. Trying to make it as specific and detailed as possible. I have a final thought and a final question for you in a moment. Before I do that, I want to say you can go to the website christianmeditationpodcast.com for more information about the podcast and to be able to listen to all past episodes. If you want to listen on your iOS or Android device for free as well, I have an app that you can download and listen to all the podcasts there called Recenter with Christ on the iOS and Android app. My deepest goal and really the only motivation that I have for this podcast is when I know that this message is blessing people. I I receive lots of feedback from people telling me that their faith has been strengthened. Some even have come to faith in Christ through this podcast. That is what motivates me. To know that this is blessing your life is powerful. God has a way of spreading his word and what an amazing time we live in that you can be receiving this message across the world listening whenever works for you whenever is convenient may God's spirit abide with you today and always as you listen to his words I want to ask you this final question what's something you can rejoice about what is something at least one thing that you can rejoice about and I want you to answer this question outside of yourself in other words type an answer to somebody Write an email to a friend, call or text somebody. Just get it outside of your head. Here's my final thought. is God transforms us. And many scriptures talk about this. And I believe it comes as we trust our lives to Christ. We have faith in him. We learn to follow. And we lead. And we learn to listen to the Spirit by rejecting what we know to be evil and by learning to do what we think is right and what receive the love of God as Christ did. We learn to rejoice always and pray unceasingly as this scripture dictates. And my greatest hope is that you can have that experience, that you can feel that in your life and that it will bless you and fill you with peace, that you will become convinced even more so that God loves you And it is not through your greatness that you will overcome your challenges, but the cooperation between the everlasting mighty power of God and our contrition, humility, and faith. May we be inspired to rise up and reject all forms of evil and to change our very nature through the Spirit of God. And this I say in Jesus' name, amen.